The answer is no. Hey guys, it's Jose and I'm back for another BTS update video. I had to do this. I have to do this just because I want you guys to relax. I know it's not everybody who's going to be watching this video, but a lot of you. I've seen it online and I've seen it in the comment section in my last video. Calm down. Yoongi ain't going nowhere. Okay, now let's get into it. But before that, make sure to click that like button and subscribe. That is the easiest way to support the channel. But if you want to support a little more, get more content for your support, I do have a Patreon page. The link is in the description box below. I've started reacting to Are You Sure, which is Jimin and Jungkook's travel variety show. But I have other stuff over there that you can only get on my Patreon. So if you are able to support in that way, I truly appreciate it, guys. So Yoongi's accident. I think this is going to be the last video that I do about this, I, that's what I think, I'm hoping, because it shouldn't go any further than this. He's apologized, he's taken responsibility, he released a statement, HYBE, or Big Hit, released a statement, two statements, the first one I shared in my previous video, and then they released one after I made the video, and I just want to clarify that, like, you might be asking, like, is there any updates? What was on that second statement by Big Hit? Basically, what they were just correcting is that in the first one, they made an assumption that the case was closed. The investigation was done. The investigation is still ongoing. It's not closed, but they are going to be working with police and being open to the investigation, you know, just providing any details, anything that they need. They are not being shady or anything like that. Same with Suga. I'm not here to say that what he did was right, but I'm also not going to join the club of saying that he was in a car and ran over 50 people and unalived so many and caused damage to much property because none of that happened. He literally just parked his scooter in front of his place and fell and a cop happened to be there. That's what happened. But as you all know, it's gotten worse. And in Korea, it's just, it's blown up. So much so that people are saying that uh, he should leave, not only like the company, but like leave BTS. Uh, and also just treating it as if he was driving a car. But I wanna highlight a new article that was released, specifically a section stating, according to multiple sources, Suga is also thoroughly reflecting on the incident. And as BTS itself, is such a strong teamwork team, extreme measures such as leaving the group are not being discussed. As the agency HYBE is currently suffering due to various issues, the prevailing view is that it will be difficult to postpone a full comeback in 2025. So we all know that HYBE has a lot of stuff going on when it comes to like the CEO Min Hee Jin and the whole Adora thing and other stuff that's happening. Also, Le Seraphim and Source Music that girl it's a mess over there but uh as far as big hit and bts it's all good in the hood nothing bad is happening when it comes to sugar and bts there he's not leaving and it's also very important to point out that last part that they cannot afford that to happen because they need the full reunion comeback in 2025 so ain't nobody stopping that bts 2025 reunion okay and even if say hypothetically that Yungi left we all know the other members would leave it with him and carry bts's name wherever they go and i've read like korea right now has a lot of stuff with a like allegedly because i don't want i'm not trying to catch a case but even the first lady has some type of scandal going on there's cacao stuff that's going on with like there's a lot of stuff that's bigger in Korea, allegedly, again, that should be highlighted and blasted everywhere and magnified and multiplied everywhere than Yoongi's case. But because it is Yoongi, because it is BTS, they will do anything to bring them down. And it's just facts. Again, guys, like these are facts. People like to divert. They like to turn eyes to other things so that people focus on something that's not as important as the real issues going on behind the scenes, no pun intended. <laughs> but yeah, Yugi's here to stay, BTS is here to stay. BTS is seven again. If you didn't know, BTS stands for bitch, they are seven. Just wanted you to calm down guys, nothing bad is happening. The guys are here to stay. And what's going on with the case, if you're wondering, it's just under investigation, trying to see what else is gonna happen. 
people are saying, sources are saying these are these are just theories. Nothing is for certain, but because it wasn't huge, obviously his license got revoked. But as far as like jail time and stuff like that, people are talking about that. It's like people don't think that's going to happen. It shouldn't increase to that level. Again, I'm hoping this is the last video that I do on this topic because it shouldn't go on after this any legal matters and stuff like that Jung is dealing with, Big Hit is dealing with. They're working with the law. They're abiding by the law and they're going to be doing what they need to do, you know? And let's us worry about being fans where we support. Army where we support. True armies. But yeah, guys, love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and until next time, adios.